Facebook custom conversion. What is a custom conversion? When do you need a custom conversion? How to configure a custom conversion? Uh, how to use custom conversion with Facebook event aggregating measurement because that's something you need to do. Um, well, I will explain everything in this video and I will show you a few examples of a custom conversion and how you can create them. Um, actually, I will have um, a custom conversion for a Tesla video embedded on my website showing a Tesla using uh, autopilot. I don't own the video, it's not mine, it's just embedded on my demo website and that's enough uh, for me to create a custom conversion for that particular video. Uh, this will be a bit later. Until then, let's see what's, what uh, is a custom conversion. Basically, it's a way to tell Facebook, look, this action it's important for my business. I want to track it. I want to track it in relation with my Facebook ads and I want to be able to optimize my ads for this particular action. So a custom conversion works uh, a bit like a standard event, like purchase, for example, or add to cart or lead, but uh, it's much more precise because you can tell uh, this exact action when you buy a product not any product this can be a custom conversion when you click on a link not on any link this can be a custom conversion when you visit a particular page not any page and so on so you can go uh, really really in details and uh, configure a custom conversion go to your events manager look for this link right here custom conversions and uh, you will end up on this page where you can start creating your custom conversions. I click here and then make sure you select the pixel you want to use for this conversion if you have more than one pixel. And then you can uh, configure the conditions for your custom conversions. By default, you will see this all URL traffic, which frankly is useless. You don't want everybody that visits your website to trigger a conversion it makes no sense but you can uh, go and select other events that your pixel fired for example let's create a custom conversion for a purchase event but with these settings um, any purchase will be a custom conversion which again doesn't make any sense because you already have the purchase event uh, tracking the same thing so let's say you want to have a custom conversion fired when just a particular product is bought, not any product from your website. How can you do it? Well, go to your website and uh, buy, do a test, and test transaction for that product. Let's say I want to buy this very expensive but beautiful belt. I will purchase the belt. Okay, and place order. Okay, good. And using Pixel Helper Chrome extension, check the purchase event parameters. And uh, as you can see, Pixel your site tracks a lot of parameters. All these parameters can be used for custom conversions. Uh, in this particular case, I want to track the, uh, I want to identify the parameters tracking the product name. And this parameter is, uh, well, where is it? It's content name, content name, okay. this one so uh, this is what i'm going to use where is my custom conversion here it is i select purchase the event and then i go and select event parameters with content name contains belt okay with these conditions only a purchase for 
a product containing belt will fire a custom conversion. All the others will be ignored by the specific custom conversion. Let's give it a name. Purchase belt and uh, save or create. I can also enter a value because I know the value of this product, which is 605. It's a very, very expensive belt, but again, it's beautiful. Five and uh, create. You are not limited to just standard events. You can use any event on your website. Actually, custom conversions are um, the way uh, to do it when you have custom events and you want them to work with ads because otherwise custom events will not work with ads will just work with custom conversions so uh, let me show you how to use a custom event fire by pixel your site to create very specific custom conversions uh, let's go here this is a pixel your site main, main page and uh, this is uh, the signal event. The plugin fires this signal event uh, basically on any interesting or useful action. There are um, various triggers like internal or external uh, clicks, uh, video views, phone clicks, email links, forms, user signups, downloads, comments, AdSense clicks, uh, scroll, and uh, you can uh, define the value and time on page again you can define the time on page in seconds now uh, what you can do is to go on your website uh, perform the desired action like clicking on an affiliate link or uh, submitting a form and check with pixel helper what event fires for that transaction and what are the, uh, the events parameters i was promising to create a custom conversion for a, a Tesla video, this one right here, it's embedded on my uh, demo website. It's a YouTube video. And if I play this um, video, I can see that there is a signal event with event action video play and uh, video title full cell driving. If I wait a bit, I will see a different signal event, this time event action video 10%. And uh, we will have video 50%, 90%, and 100%. So uh, you can uh, create a custom conversion for people that watch, let's say, half of the video. And now I will use this event to create my custom conversion. It's pretty simple make sure okay the pixel is right the event is right this is a signal and i add my rule which is event uh, title video title full driving make sure you type it correctly and uh, another rule again event event action video play okay and i name my custom conversion with a descriptive title i can add a description as well and i click create now um, you probably, depending on your setup, you probably need to um, share this conversion, your conversions, with the appropriate ad account, the account that will use the custom conversion. You can do it in various ways. This is one of them. And you simply select the account and uh, share custom conversion. Now, go to your website and make sure you fire that conversion because you need to see if it works. Again, I play the video, I check with Pixel Helper, and yes, I can see the custom conversion right here. Okay, so it works. But this is not everything. If I want to use this custom conversion with my ads, I have to add it 
under uh, events uh, measurement. And uh, there are various ways to get there, but I will use the, the easy one. If you go to your custom conversion, click on it, and you can see this link configure. It will open uh, a list with your domains. You can click on the domain, uh, click edit events, and then you will end up on this page. Now, let's see if the conversion is there. The thing is, Facebook is quite slow, so you will have to wait like uh, 20, 30 minutes before the conversion is available uh, for selection in the web event configuration. Uh, make sure you fire it and then wait. There is no other way to do it. I have something in my... Okay. No, it's not yet available, so I have to wait. But until then, let's see what you can do with the custom conversion. First, you can uh, use it when you create ads, just like an event. So I create an ad campaign, configure for conversion, optimize for conversions. I click continue. And uh, when I configure my um, ad set, I have the option to select the custom conversion. Well, not yet. Again, refresh the page. Maybe now I can select it. Yes, I can. But I have this message because the event, the custom conversion, is not yet added under uh, event uh, measurement settings, which is this part right here. Again, you need to wait until the event the custom conversion it's available here for selection refresh this page a few times after maybe 20 30 minutes once you do it you will um, this message will be removed and uh, the conversion will work like any other uh, standard event so you can optimize your uh, ads for this particular conversion and you can also um, check uh, the results by customizing your columns. If you go to your ad reports, customize columns, you have this uh, section, custom conversions, and you will be able to select the custom conversion from this list. Again, I have to refresh my page. Maybe it's a good thing that I made a small mistake because you, you see that you need to refresh your page. And um, this is this is the custom conversion. Once you select it, you can uh, configure the column order like this, and you will see the the custom conversion in your uh, ads reports. Uh, half an hour later, let's see if we can um, add the custom conversion. Refresh the page. Well, almost half an hour. It was less. Add event. And uh, yeah, we can add the custom conversion. Submit. I understand. Okay. Now back to the ads this warning should go away maybe it won't immediately i don't know let's see yeah all good so yeah the warning is gone and you can use the custom conversion like a normal standard event